Do you want the beauty of plants and flowers in your home, but not the expense of fresh weekly bouquets? Do you have an always black thumb that leaves you with a house full of, well, dead houseplants? Here's how to decorate with fake plants and flowers so that they look real. So there are two polar opposite opinions on using fake plants in home decor. The first is that they look fake and they're ugly and they should never ever be used. The second though, is that they can add beauty and organic shapes and colors and textures to home decor for less money and less maintenance than real plants and flowers. Honestly, I wish I could buy fresh flowers every week, but my budget just can't handle that. And I wish I could keep houseplants alive, but I must have the blackest thumb ever when it comes to indoor plants. I have killed what I have heard are the sturdiest and hardiest of plants, including snake plants, ivy, fiddly figs, all of them, and I have managed to kill them. So how do you decorate with fake plants and flowers so that they look real? Number one, when you're shopping for fake flowers and plants for inside, you wanna look for realistic looking colors. There are so many options out there now at so many different price points. There's no reason to have flowers or plants inside that are fake that look really fake. So look for colors that would appear in nature. Look for real pinks, real reds, real greens. Just look for something that looks real like you would see it out in nature when you're shopping. If you're shopping for fake flowers and plants in person, see how they feel. Do they feel like they would be an actual plant? Do the leaves feel plasticky and shiny or do they feel sort of soft and like they have all those little bits on them that real flowers and plants have? So if you're shopping in person, feel the plants and flowers to see how they feel. Okay, so if you're shopping for faux flowers and plants online, make sure you check out the reviews that get left on the ones that you're looking at. Look for reviews that are really, really good and they say things like realistic and not plasticky or not fake looking or anything like that. Also check out if the reviewer left any pictures or video of the flowers or plants in their actual space, in their actual home. See if you can sort of gauge how the flowers and plants look better based on those photos than the highly staged and styled seller's photos. If you're unsure about a flower plant that you're looking at, that's your cue to do one of two things. You can either put it back, because in your gut you know that that's not what you're looking for and it's not gonna look great in your home, or you could ask for a second opinion. Sometimes I'll do that um, with, when I've got my daughter shopping with me or whatever, and that makes a big difference as to whether they think it looks fake or real. The other thing you can do in that situation is take a picture of it and then look at the picture to see how it looks in the picture. My last tip for when you're shopping for fake plants and flowers is to invest in a couple or a few really good pieces. So either full arrangements that look really, really great or some stems that you can use over and over and over and over again. Okay, so as for where to shop for these things, my favorite local places are little boutique decor stores that we have sort of in our downtown area um, and some big box stores, but a select few. So like I'm in Canada, so that means Boucler, HomeSense, Michaels, those kind of stores. Um, even Structube and Urban Barn sometimes have great fake plants and flowers. Ask around for your friends. If you live in the United States or somewhere else, Else, ask around and see where um, the best places are or just pop out grab a coffee and go and browse if I'm shopping for fake plants and flowers online I like to shop of course Amazon because you can often get quick shipping you can get you know low prices whatever but I also like places like Decor Verano um, that's another Canadian company but also a floral in the United States as well I've got some really beautiful things from all of those places Okay, once you've chosen your fake flowers and plants, tongue twister, once you've chosen them, make sure that you put them in great containers or vases or pitchers or whatever. So for example, if you decide to buy a fake fiddle leaf fig tree or a fake olive tree, it comes in, I don't know if you've ever looked online, it comes in a very, very small pot on the bottom because really that's all it needs to sort of hold it and weight it down because there's no actual roots in it because it's fake. Make sure you pop that into a basket or a bigger pot or um, a crock or whatever goes with your home decor. Make sure that you put that into something a little more substantial on the bottom so that it looks more like a real tree. The same goes for flowers and bouquets and arrangements and things like that. If you're 
putting fake flowers into a clear glass or plastic vase, you're gonna be able to see that it is not in water and that it is the stems are fake. But if you put it into an opaque vase or an opaque picture, you won't see that. And so people won't really know, especially if you buy a really great fake arrangement. Another option is if you plan to keep the arrangement all together, you could put it in a clear vase or pitcher and just use some of that fake water um, that you can get at your local craft store or whatever and put fake water in with the stems and that way it looks even more realistic because it's in water. One final tip for um, using fake plants and flowers so that they look real is specifically related to flowers. So if you're going to put a floral arrangement together of fake stems, make sure that you add in a few extra things like fake eucalyptus or baby's breath or some other green stems of some kind just like they would at a fancy floral shop so that it looks like it's a very creatively put together arrangement you can do that with fake stems as well so there you have it those are my ideas and tips for decorating with fake plants and flowers so that they look real let me know in the comments whether you're team real or team faux i'd love to know for more decluttering, organizing, and decorating tips, ideas, and inspiration, check out my other YouTube videos as well as my blog that's linked down below.